Hi everyone! Today I would like to show you how fast you can start building with cognitive services, flexible deployment options, and some of my favorite tools. Let's get started. I have a React sample app here. When I run it and click on microphone, nothing happens yet. We will get the microphone stream and transcribe it with the speech service. I have the JavaScript SDK imported in the file. When I start typing, some kind of magic happens. I have the GitHub Copilot extension giving me some suggestions, making it even easier. What we are creating here is an audio config to get the audio stream from the default microphone. We also configure speech with authentication token and resource region. Now we can initialize a recognizer object and run the recognize once async function to make the call to the API. Based on the API response, we can update the UI with the transcription text. Let's click the microphone icon again. Now we can transcribe. Speech to text and text to speech is available in more than 100 languages and locales today. This is great, but we can make our app even more inclusive by translating the transcription. With a couple of small configuration changes, we can make a single API call to both transcribe and translate. We use speech translation configuration object instead of the base class speech config. I am subscribing to the recognition events because I will change the recognition to be continuous instead of only when we are listening with the button click. Are you translating what I'm saying? Great, now we have the translated transcription. With few more UI changes, we can transcribe multiple language translations at the same time. Here I'm replacing single target language with an option of languages that I loop through. Hello everyone, I have a simultaneous translator now. Simultaneous transcription and translation is really fast, but I do have a very fast internet connection. What if you want to run the same code in a place where you don't have fast network connection? I have a very fast internet connection and the speech service has a very low latency. What if, if you're in a place with very little connectivity? You can run the same AI models in a container with very slow connection and still have the same quality AI models, but with much faster response time. Downloading and running the containers on your local machine is very easy. Let's see if Seth can do it. I really don't want to let Aisha go down. I need to show that doing transcription using Azure Cognitive Services containers works and does not send any audio data out of our networks. To prove that, I've gone ahead and started Wireshark and I'm tracking a session where I'm looking at every single packet that leaves my machine and goes to Cognitive Services. We're not gonna show any keep alives though. All right, step number two, I'm gonna run the actual container using this Docker command. Notice that I'm pulling the container directly from Cognitive Services. I'm adding my billing endpoint as well as my API key. And I'm gonna turn logging up really high so we can see everything that's going on. As this gets started, notice that you're seeing some packets going out, basically saying, hey, is the billing endpoint available? But there's no audio data. All right, looks like it started. Now I need to change some of the code in my application. The first thing I'm gonna do is I, I don't need to have any of this token stuff because everything is running locally. So I made this change. Uh, we don't need this token object anymore. So I'm gonna take it out. And then I'm gonna change one line of code. Instead of pointing to an authorization token, I'm gonna point to the local host container. All right, looks like this rebuilt. Let me go ahead and hit refresh over here. And now let's give this a try. Testing the container. 
Notice that there's a ton of stuff happening over here, but there are zero packets over here at all. There's none of the audio file, none of the audio data is leaving this container at all. Now, if we wait a second, you're gonna see that the container is gonna send usage metrics back to Azure. We'll wait a second to see that happen. There it is. Notice it just said it's reporting a meter usage of two units, and that's all it sent. With all of the stuff going on, all of that audio data, notice none of it left our network, and we were able to show how we could successfully move our speech-to-text service on-premises while ensuring that none of our audio leaves the network. Hopefully I've made you proud. I should go back to you. Thank you, Seth. Always proud of you. Okay. Being able to run these AI models anywhere is unbelievable. But what happens if you need to customize our base models to add your product name or terminology specific to your industry? With new Speech Studio, anyone can customize speech models test and deploy without writing any code. You can upload your text or audio data with human label transcription or add a dictionary of pronunciation specific to your use case. You can test your models and get visual feedback and error rate data. You can compare the improvements in the iterations of the models. When it is time to deploy, you can deploy the custom models on speech portal. Anyone who's running the API locally in a container can add the model ID parameter on Docker run script. Optionally, you can also add the model ID in your speech configuration object. You can have AI capabilities in your apps today. Run and deploy anywhere you like. Back to you, Eric. 